Hello and welcome back CW friends and family. It's me, Shalita Wilson, the CEO here at CW Hair Care. Today, we're gonna talk about the benefits of coconut oil. Serious stuff, coconut oil. We'll talk about it soon. But right now, what I want you to do is subscribe, leave a comment, and when you leave a comment, let us know what topic you would like for us to research and bring to you on our Saturday uploads so that you can be informed and we can help you on your hair care journey. Oh, guess what today is? Guess what today is? Can you guys guess at all? Today is red, black, and green day. Yes, today is August 13th, and it is red, black, and green day. On August 13th, I believe it was 1921, Marcus Garvey created the red, black, and green flag for African Americans and Africans in the diaspora for us to have our own flag representation. Red for the blood, black for the people, green for the land. August 13th, red, black, and green day. Don't you guys forget it. Make sure you're wearing it next year. So subscribing and leaving a comment enters you into our drawing where you can win one CW hair care product of your choice. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video so that you can see who won the drawing for today. All right, let's get to it. Coconut oil is beloved by many people for its versatility. It has been an age old friend for years and years and years. Many people have used coconut oil for all kinds of stuff, but today we're talking about the benefits of coconut oil for your hair. Processes that we go through every day like heat styling, curling iron, flat ironing if we're still, still doing that, um, perming, coloring, and just like the, the, the weather and things that we go through on a daily basis, it can really damage our hair and create hair fallout. These things can also suck the moisture right out of our hair and the protein from our hair, making it dry, dull, and susceptible to breakage, splitting, and excessive hair loss. Coconut oil is known to condition and improve the overall health of your hair and scalp thanks to the presence of antibacteria, antimicrobial, and its emollient properties such as lauric acid, a fatty acid that's unlike any other fatty acid out there. Um, it can penetrate deep into the hair shaft. As a result, it can protect the hair against protein loss and provide long lasting moisture. All right, so quiz. What product of CW Hair Care in our line of products contains coconut oil? I'll wait. <laughs> That's right, the silk growth oil. The silk growth oil contains six different essential oils, all organic, all natural, all unfiltered. And coconut oil is one of those oils in there. So if you just wanna get the silk growth oil so that you can get the benefits of the coconut oil and all the other oils in there, go ahead and do that. But we get our coconut oil from the farmer's market here in Georgia, where they make it by hand. It is unfiltered, it is all organic, and it's extra, extra virgin, okay? So we try to get the best products that we can find to put into our products so that it can be extremely beneficial to you and to me, because I use them too. While coconut oil can be a one-stop solution for many hair problems, it is most known for preventing hair breakage and hair loss, right? So hair loss can occur for many reasons, such as the medications you may be on, high blood pressure, stress, especially stress. They found out that number one reason for hair loss is stress, not medication, not high blood pressure, not any of those other things. The number one reason we lose our hair is stress. So check your stress level, okay? But coconut oil is beneficial for preventing hair loss. Fortunately, coconut oil can help on many fronts. That's why you find it in a lot of the products that you purchase for your hair. And dang near all of your hair care products. If you're allergic, you know, it'll be a problem. But the majority of the products that you purchase out there for your hair has coconut oil in it. And that's why you also see a lot of videos out there, your do-it-yourself videos, AKA DIY videos, um, 
that feature coconut oil in the mix for protecting the hair and preventing hair loss. So one of the emollients that coconut oil has in it is called lauric acid. And one of the benefits of lauric acid is that it's an excellent moisturizer. It can help fight inflammation around your hair follicles, which is one of the more common culprits behind hair loss is having damaged hair follicles. Again, lauric acid is a main component of coconut oil, which allows it to penetrate your hair shaft easily, which also helps strengthen the cuticle. Now make sure you stick to unrefined, I'm gonna repeat that again, unrefined virgin coconut oil and even extra virgin coconut oil for the best results. And how do you know this? You look at the jar and if it says unrefined, check. If it says virgin, check. If it says extra virgin, check, check. Those are the ones that you'd like to get. So here are a list of some of the benefits of coconut oil for your Hair. One, coconut oil has lauric acid, which helps bind the proteins to your hair and protects the roots and strands and prevent them from breakage. And it also helps to alleviate inflammation in the hair follicle. Two, the antioxidants in coconut oil help to boost and promote hair growth. Three, coconut oil is known to penetrate the hair shaft protecting it from environmental issues, like we discussed, the heat treatment and the environmental weather, whether you're in a um, pollution-filled area, too much sun, lots of wind, drying out the hair. It helps to prevent the damage from these things and keep moisture locked into the hair shaft. This is what coconut oil does for you. Four, coconut oil contains antifungal and antibacterial properties that help to protect against bacterial and any problems that inhibit hair growth. Five, coconut oil acts as a natural conditioner which helps to keep your hair healthy, shiny, and soft. Six, massaging your hair and scalp with coconut oil helps to stimulate blood flow and circulation at the scalp level which further ensures the nutrients nourish and reach your hair follicles. Now let's discuss how to use coconut oil or a few ways of using coconut oil that's beneficial. First, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down there letting us know what you think of this video. One of the best ways to use coconut oil, which I like to do, is as a pre-poo. We got a video on it right here. Bing, bing about pre-poo. Now what that is, is that you'll, you'll apply the coconut oil to your hair before shampooing poo. That's where that poo word comes from. You apply the coconut oil to your hair, leave it on for about 20 or 30 minutes. You can even put a plastic cap on it and put a heating cap on it to let it seep in even more. And then after that, shampoo your hair as usual. But what that does is it helps to retain moisture in that hair shaft um, and help to prevent breakage and keeps the nutrients in your hair and uh, and kind of prevents it from getting stripped away by shampoos and conditioners that you use. If you use our shampoo and conditioners, it's really gentle on your hair and it does not strip your hair at all. Two, you, you can use it as a hot oil treatment. So heat up the oil in water. Do not put it in the microwave. Put it in hot water, let it get nice and warm, apply it to the scalp and the hair and then just put a plastic cap over it, put a heating cap over it, leave it on for like 20 to 30 minutes, then wash it out. Three, you can use the silk growth oil and get the coconut oil properties out of there, as well as the other five oils that have extremely beneficial properties, as well as that coconut oil as a hot oil treatment. We also recommend that you use the silk growth oil on a daily basis. Apply it lightly to your scalp, massage it in, wrap it up, go to bed, get up in the morning and go about your business. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have my red, black, and green watch from Tally and Twine on as well. So I'm doing my red, black, and green today, you guys. I'm representing to the best of my ability. All right, so with coconut oil, I cannot not talk about some people that are allergic to coconut oil. And I never knew people had allergies to coconut oil um, until I got into this business. A lot of our customers 
reached out to us and said that they were allergic to coconut oil and if we had another product uh, that did not contain coconut oil in it. And at that time we did not. So uh, in the beginning when we were first getting customer requests like that, what we would do is create the silk growth oil without coconut oil specifically for that one customer and send that to them. But then we got so many more customers that were saying that they're allergic to coconut oil, that we have the silk growth oil without it, that we created an entire um, uh, oil without coconut oil in it and, and sell it like that without coconut oil. So the other oil that we use um, instead of coconut oil in our silk growth oil for those that are allergic to coconut oil, we use argan oil. Um, we get our argan oil from Morocco, Africa, so the best we possibly can find. Um, and we put that in the other product that it's the same product, but it just swaps out the coconut oil. Some of the issues that people with allergies to coconut oil experience is rashes on their skin and scalp. They um, experience um, blisters. They experience boils. Some people experience boils. They also experience like follicle inflammation. So that's where their hair follicles feel really, really hot. And it also causes them to experience hair loss as well. So yeah, I kind of understand when they say I'm allergic to coconut oil, can I get a product without it? Because those side effects is not really worth it at all. So yes, we have a product um, that does not contain coconut oil for those particular people that are allergic. All right, so you guys know what time it is? It's time for our drawing. Let's get to it, all right? I have the names here. It's a lot this time. And you guys already know how you enter into our drawing, right? You subscribe and leave a comment. And then everybody that leaves a comment, I print your names off and then cut them up like this, drop them in the bag, shake it up, and I draw two names. Um, those that left a comment are the ones that's in this bag right now. This bag, the CW hair care bag. I'm gonna draw the names. Let's see who we got. Oh, I always look, don't I? Okay, I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. Right, ruffle them up a little bit. Okay, here we go. First name is, uh, it's kind of stuck together. Okay, I don't think it's stuck. Let's see. Okay, first name we have Patrice Morrison. Patrice Morrison, can you see that? All right, Patrice, congratulations. Send us an email at info at cwhaircare.com and let us know which one product of ours that you would like for us to send to you. Okay, Patrice, congratulations, girl. Let's see who else we have. We have, okay, that's one name. And we have Ivy Lynn. Ivy Lynn, congratulations Ivy. Send us an email at info at cwhaircare.com and let us know which one product you would like for us to send to you for you to try out. Okay, so now I like to leave you with an inspirational quote at the end of every video and here we go. Setting goals is the first step into turning the invisible into the visible. So what you can do is make short, obtainable goals that you can actually achieve and notice your achievements on a daily basis. So let's just say, for example, you wanna lose weight. Say you wanna lose 20 pounds, right? By say, I don't know, six months from now. An attainable goal that you can write immediately is say tomorrow, I'm going to cut soda out of my diet obtainable, cross that off your list. The next goal you can say, I'm gonna walk up and down my stairs for five minutes every day. That's obtainable, that's reachable, and you can notice it immediately. So, the first thing to making your goals come into a reality is to set some goals, all right? And make sure you make steps that you can actually obtain and you can actually see. All right, thank you guys for joining and see you next week. And have a happy red, black, and green day.